the next presentation is uh, uh, from Ryzen. Jia Junye is going to talk about a very large 700 plus watt heterojunction modules for utility applications from Ryzen. Uh, Jia Jun, I think I Hello. pronounce your name correctly. Um, yes. This is a mistake, please pardon me. <laughs> Yes, you have a very good pronunciation for my name. Yeah, thank you very much. And thank you for oh, the invitation. Thanks. So, so um, the floor is yours. Okay, um, but okay, we'll show my presentation first. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Now it's coming. Is it clear for you now? Can you see the screen? Yes. Um, Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Jia Junyi, uh, product manager from Ryzen Energy. I'm happy to present here today uh, our like groundbreaking innovative um, solar uh, model technology hyper ion. And uh, to begin, I would like to briefly introduce our companies. Ryzen Energy is a tier one manufacturer, which is uh, founded in 1986 and entered the PV industry in 2002. So we have already over 20 years experience in this PV industries. And in 2010, we are publicly listed in the stock market. And by 2015, we entered in top 10 of Bloomberg tier one manufacturers. And four years later, we announced we are the first one to have the shipment of like 500 watt models. When this in the so first one play a pioneer in the like big sale um, manufacturers. And in 2021, we launched our top count products, which is called Titan uh, Newton Technologies. And in 2022, we uh, like uh, upgraded our head junction products to like into the uh, big solar cell called the hyper iron. And so far, we have a uh, corporate over all like uh, around the world more than 10,000 clients and have employee over all 11,000. And in last year, we have achieved like uh, sales revenue around 3.87 billion euros. And we are planning to expand our capacity within this year to 45 gigawatts. Uh, and among them, so 20, 24 gigawatt will be um, for and six, six, gig, uh, six gigawatt will be like for the top gun technology. And another 15 gigawatt will be head junction products. And within, uh, as a drive for our development, we're thinking that uh, this main drive for the like development of PV industrial will be the uh, lowering the LCE to make the solar electricity economically and uh, um, and ecologically uh, beneficial for the for the industry and for the world, and also in uh, beside in addition, Ryzen also believes that uh, the minimizing the carbon emission from the solar model during the like manufacturing process is also one of the like efforts need to be done to achieve the like carbon neutrality. So, but to uh, to reaching this two goal, we have started all the like technologies. And as you can see here, listed all the technology in the past for past and the target to the future. First is now we're seeing the like POC technology first, which is now still dominant in the market and based on P-type. And it has, uh, but we, it has uh, reaching his bottleneck, which is 24.5 efficiency. And as we know, like the like mainstream manufacturer has already reaching like mass production efficiency for this cell to, uh, to up to like 24. So we are now transitioning to the like, N-type technology, which of higher potential in the like phys physically uh, like uh, efficiency limits over 28%, even to 29%. And among them, Topcon and Head Junction products are, will be the mainstream and will, will, uh, will be also dominant in the like next uh, five to 10 years. And uh, to see in the future, which is can be uh, have a high, even higher potential in the efficiency improvement is tendon sale. And uh, as uh, from Ryzen believes that with Head Junction products, which is have a uh, like surface with TCO layer is conductive can be simply upgraded to the tendon cell. So we are firmly choose uh, hyper, uh, hyper iron as our focus champion products in our portfolio. And also in terms of like commercial and also other spec, this is some like information from the third party showing the forecaster of the like um, if in the like uh, future uh, PV industrial. As you can see in the left, we're seeing the like different kind of market share of the P type and N type uh, solar cells. We're seeing that there's, we are, there, we are seeing a booming in the 2023, which is this year. 
and uh, the uh, market share of the NTAP technology will be increased a lot and uh, uh, approximately about 30%. And after 2025, uh, the NTAP technology will be not dominant also in the, uh, in the market, over 15%. In the right, we're seeing the pictures of the market share of like uh, for the Topcon and uh, head junction products, which is blue stands for Topcon and uh, the, green, uh, the yellow stands for head junction. As we can see that uh, these two, uh, two technology together will be dominant in NTAP technology, have a share over 90%. And among them, the so increase rate, uh, growth rate of head junction is much faster compared to other technologies. Sorry. And so this, in this way, uh, Ryzen firmly chose the um, head junction technology and uh, launched uh, as our like main products. As our main product. And uh, we start our, our begin our journey of we had a junction uh, back into 20, uh, 2019. Right then we launched our Ziga uh, like had a junction products based on like 156 solar cells size. And uh, back when we're entering in the big cell area, we immediately have invested our IND and launched our new head junction products based on 210 cells and uh, break twice the world, rec uh, world model e uh, efficiency record twice in a year. And by 2022, uh, we will have like official announced our hyper ion products, which is based on had a junction product based on 210 cells, and expanded our production capacity in 2023 first quarter to five gigawatt. And we are still planning. And meanwhile, we uh, break tw uh, the third times of the like model efficiency, achieve like model uh, power output in one model to over like 400, uh, 741 watt and efficiency up to like 23.9%. And uh, by the next year, uh, by the next half of this year, we will first expand our like production capacity of hard junction to 15 gigawatt. Of course, during our like uh, IMD and uh, industrialization of the like head junction products, we're facing a lot of uh, different like uh, challenges. Uh, mainly it's to to like increase our like reliability of the like uh, of the model and also lower the cost while improving the like efficiency. But after our like effort, uh, like tireless effort and uh, cooperation with third parties, we have overcome all the problems and uh, minimizing the cost to a very competitive level. And we soon we uh, we believe also. But uh, with uh, like a scaling up of so, like had a junction production uh, in all uh, like PV industrial, we were smoothing all the like um, uh, shortage uh, like, like weakness of like had a junction te technology in terms of like uh, uh, high cost of uh, non-silicon material or also scale uh, the equipment things. We will assume that uh, be the same level of park technology or top call ones. And uh, among them, we are. Uh, for in such way, we adopt like uh, advanced technology to have our head junction products. As we know that uh, uh, the nature, due to the nature of head, uh, head junction technology, the highest model efficiency can be only uh, achieved on the thinner cells. So we adopt like thinner wafer of a thickness of like a, um, 100 micrometer for the production, reducing a lot of the silicon material consumptions. Which is compared to pork 115 micrometer and top corn around 100 centimeter. We reduce a lot of like a material, like a silicon consumption. And in this way, we also reduce a lot of carbon emission and also energy consumption. Also, things that had junction cells and models can only be produced and processed under a very low temperature. So we select a low temperature silver paste and also. Which is uh, which was the one we use is like a silver uh, coated uh, like a copper paste with a silver very low like a silver like uh, content to reduce like uh, um, silver consumption and uh, the cost. At the same time, in order to uh, we also compared a different kind uh, compared and started a different kind of like uh, low silver paste content pastures and found the opt optimal one that can minimize the use of like uh, silver and uh, ensure in the same time ensure the stability and uh, the efficiency of the models. And as for the interconnection of the bus bar for the head junction models, we develop our like uh, own technology which is called hyper hyperlink over operation temperature like around 25 degrees uh, can be uh, perfectly addressing the interconnection challenges for the head junction products. 
Furthermore, because uh, the high temperature cutting of the solar cell conflicts with head junction um, solar cells. So we uh, like using like a half cutted wafer instead of like a, a half cutted solar cell to minimizing the uh, cutting loss, also to improve like cell efficiency, uh, cell efficiency and reduce the, like um, cell um, power out power output loss while we, while we cutting the cell uh, like uh, solar head junction cells. Also, uh, compared to other technology like Topcon and uh, the HEPOG, the surface layer of head junction is TCO, which is a uh, transparent conductive oxide la conductive layer, which is uh, poor adhesion with like conventional model uh, encapsulator material like EVA or PoE. So we started all uh, different kinds of like uh, encapsulator and customized the kinds of like uh, uh, special like uh, customized like encapsulation material for our head junction products. To uh, like to addressing the delamination problems when we uh, when the model was like uh, put in the application with high temperature when there's also when or or, or there's when have like hot spot things causing the delamination and uh, causing some like uh, like problems for like uh, reliability. As you can see here, the so one we are using here will be have will be have like a very high also adhesion between the the film and our surface layer over 40 uh, newtons. So it will be a secure the like reliability between for the like for our uh, adjunction products. Furthermore, uh, the Ryzen hyper ion series use the third generation like head junction technology with uh, like a double sided uh, microcrystalline silicon layer. So compared to the first generation and second generation, it can be uh, it can absorb and also utilize a wider range of the solar spectrum. So it means it can generate more electricity and uh, with high efficiency. To summarize, uh, for this head junction, well, hyper iron products, we have adopted like four first, a three four first among all the P manufacturers. First, we are the first one have the mass production of the own patent zero bar, zero bus bar solar cells. And the solar cell we used is 90 micrometers. And the silver uh, consumption of our hep iron product is below 10 microgram uh, uh, per watt. And we also adopt like our high to own patent hyperlink silver bus bar uh, stress free interconnection technology to increase our like reliability and while having the high efficiencies. And with all the advanced technology, we have announced uh, developed two products main. First one in the left is one the biggest which consists of like 66 solar cell. This will be applied to the utility scale. And the one, also the one have breaking the like world record and has an efficiency up to like 23.9%. Has a size uh, 2384 multiply uh, 1303 micrometer. And the one in the left is a smaller cell, a smaller uh, model, which is can be applied to a commercial industrial rooftop project and also for some like utility scale. Uh, project also with uh, efficiency up to 22.4% and, and uh, our output up to 585%, uh, 85 watt. And this is some like key parameter of like big, our big models. For this model, we have power for the first uh, patch of uh, mass production, we will have like uh, mainstream power around 685 to 700 watt and efficiency is 22.1 to 22.5. And for this one, we will, it will be a vibration model have the, like we have like two kind of like frame for choose which one one is our self patent steel frame and another one, one aluminum frame and for this product we extended our power warrant, uh, product warranty to 15 years and uh, 30 years uh, like power warranty the first year decoration will be only 1% because we have we are using like untapped wafer uh, minimizing the loss of like lid and the annual degradation will be only 0.3% so the Retention uh, power, retention rate of the like uh, after thirty years power warranty will be over ninety percent. And compared to other technology like pork, we have like for with the, like uh, higher beneficial factors and uh, uh, lower temperature coefficients, which is um, the be best in, among all the PV uh, technologies, and also the like uh, uh, lower degradation. We have achieved like highest power output among uh, compared to other park ones like 40 to 15, 115 watt higher, and efficiency will be 0 0.4 to 1.3 higher compared to park. 
And uh, by fish factor compared to pork is 15% higher. Compared to top corn is 5% higher. And uh, also we have done some like simulation and uh, uh, validate with uh, um, like our pilot project. We assume that we have like 6% or even higher to up to 6.5% higher uh, energy yield compared to pork, 3% over uh, top corns. And with this, within our also done some like uh, economic and analyze, we found out as uh, like BOS cost of our mm, uh, head junction products will be like 4%, 4.5% lower and LCOE will be uh, over like 5.4% reduced. And uh, first, and I also need to mention the uh, carbon emission of our products is uh, also the, the lowest among all the PV technology because of this like uh, similar wafer and uh, low temperature uh, per, uh, production capacity and uh, less production steps. Besides, uh, we adopt for our products, we are using like a, the a steel frame was adopted with steel frame. We're running. Sorry, it's a problem with. Uh, as you can see uh, right just now, I showed our like wind tunnel test for our steel frame together with had uh, had a junction products, and uh, it outcomes uh, terms very well, and we pass the test. It means with our steel frame, it's not only offers like lower uh, carbon emission, but also increase a lot like uh, reliability when we applied our products in very high speed wind applications. Especially when, uh, especially compared to the like uh, tiers in the mountain hall, we have done some tests to our 30% higher compared to aluminum frame. So it means when we apply our model to some high speed wind applications, such as Denmark or like coastal area, uh, uh, with our steel frame model, it can be more re uh, resistant. And also, we done some like uh, load test. Then showing that that we can with our steel frame under very high load wind, the bending of the steel frame will be much less compared to the aluminum frame to secure the higher reliability to our end customers. And so it means with our steel frame, we can, uh, we can have more like a strong uh, structure of the uh, models. And the last point we'll be uh, talking about like uh, like higher energy yield with uh, from because of like higher like by fish factor low degradation and the best uh, temperature coefficient of head junction, and uh, we selected twenty one like um, typical uh, area around the world with typical uh, climate condition and uh, running some tests with PV system as you can see in the diagram. We the outcome the results show that with top con, with uh, had junction products, overall uh, in within like twenty five years life cycle we have like around uh, five to seven percent higher energy yield, which means the generation of electricity was much higher compared to pork ones, offers the clients with higher like uh, the carbon values also, and this result also been validated with some like with our some a pilot project around the world three in China and one in Belgium and one in the Chile. This all shows that with head junction products, the head uh, generation uh, electricity generation yield will be like six percent higher compared to pork ones, and with this higher energy uh, like um, uh, energy yield uh, energy yield, we assume that we offer with our head junction products we offer the clients with with higher like uh, uh, price premium, and this premium with uh, will be from two part. First part is we call uh, rigid. Uh, well, first of all, we call it a rigid premium, which is uh, coming from the BOS cost. Of course, uh, it's um, sorry, there's some issues with my presentation. So we are showing the now. Yeah, Jim, yes, you also have to make it fast. Uh, maybe finish in one minute because yeah, uh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. finish in one minute. Yeah, finish okay. one minute. And uh, the two uh, the premium is a two part. We are seeing that, okay. Uh, and I'll show this way because it's running anyway. I don't know. And uh, two part, which rigid premium, which is caused by US. For example, we, if we build a project with pork technology and had a junction with the same size model. And if we are building a like 100 megawatt project, 
with heterogeneous product, we, because with a higher power output, 700 watt, so with less models needed. And with less model means, means less uh, multi-structure, less uh, cabling, less like uh, inverter, and also less event, like less land use. So we can reduce a lot like power cost for this part. And when the project was built with head junction products and also pork products, the same, same application, application scenario, and also the same uh, power output, uh, same like capacity of the project. With higher like energy yield, we produce more electricity for the end customer. It means we can have more like sales uh, revenues when we sell the price and first sell electricity to the end customer. And two parts together, we offer the like price premium for the like end customer. So to uh, uh, to conclusion, uh, to make to draw a conclusion, we were saying that with like like uh, advantages of like had had a high power end products, higher efficiency, high power output. Have, uh, like uh, like uh, fish factors and uh, low degradation and a better temperature coefficient. We were seeing that with high, uh, the hypo ion products will offer the clients the best uh, to, uh, potential to deploy their like targets and uh, uh, will be the best approach to reshape the like uh, 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 renewable world. Yeah, thank you for listening. Okay, thank you very much, Jason. I think it's really interesting to see that you are able to reduce the cost of hetero junction and, and make it in a big way. I think uh, there are some interesting questions in the chat. Uh, so I think mm -hmm. related to your uh, steel frame. So since we don't, we are running out of time, I would like to proceed to the next presentation. So please stay, you know, enjoy the conference. Meanwhile, also answer the questions in the chat window. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, thank you. See you, bye. So, bye-bye.